हेलो एवरी वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन्फॉर्मेशन थेरी बेसिक्स डेफिनेशन अनसर्टंटी एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन नाउ वॉट इज इन्फॉर्मेशन इन्फॉर्मेशन इज एनी इंटेलिजेंस और एनी आइडिया और एनी मैसेज इन इन्फॉर्मेशन थेरी नाउ वॉट इज द फॉर्म ऑफ मैसेज द मैसेज मे बी इन फॉर्म ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल दैट इज वोल्टेज एंड करंट मैसेज मे बी इन फॉर्म ऑफ स्पीच और वॉइस सिग्नल मैसेज मे बी आइदर पिक्चर और इमेज मैसेज मे बी इन फॉर्म ऑफ वीडियो और मैसेज मे बी एनी ऑफ द टेक्स्ट दैट इज वी कैन ट्रांसमिट सच टाइप ऑफ मैसेजेस फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर प्लेस नाउ वी विल डिस्कस ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टीम now in block diagram of communication system as shown in above figure first block is information source now information source will generate information which is present in form of analog now this information source will transmit this information towards next block that is encoder encoder will convert this information into digital form that is a to d converters are used in encoder to convert the information into digital form now this encoded digital information is transmitted towards the next block that is transmitter now transmitter will amplify the respective signal in terms of voltage and in, in terms of power and also it will modulate the signal and after that transmitting antenna will transmit the respective signal towards the receiver with help of channel now channel is either wired or wireless now channel will help for the information signal to transmit from transmitter to receiver now receiving antenna will receive the information signal and it will process the same that is it will amplify the received weak signal and after that it will demodulate the respective received signal and after that this respective signal is transmitted towards the next block that is decoder decoder will convert the respective digital information into analog form now this analog information is going for the next block that is information destination this is the flow of the communication system in our block diagram we also shown the source side and the destination side now we will go for some terms important terms in our information theory now we will go for the one important term in information theory that is uncertainty now what is uncertainty suppose our message is called as capital x suppose message x is having number of sub messages that is x1 x2 x3 up to x of n and its probability of this message x is capital p is equal to respectively p1 p2 p3 up to p of n now total probability of this message x will be capital p is equal to summation of p of i where i will ranges from 1 to n now this is regarding to our total probability now always total probability is 1 now if message x transmission probability is zero that is message x1 probability is p1 and this probability p1 is zero or its probability p1 is 1 if p1 is zero that is this is not possible event and if p1 is 1 then it is 100% possible event in both cases there is not any uncertainty that is these two are fixed events so 
there is not any uncertainty for probability is equal to 0 and probability is equal to 1. Now, if x1 message transmission probability p1 is 0 0.5 means what 50 percent probability of the event is possible. If 50 percent possibility is present means 50 percent impossibility is present means there is 50 percent uncertainty is present. If same message P1 is having the probability 0.1 means what only 10 percent probability is present. If 10 percent probability of the transmission is present means 90 percent not possible event is there. That is what highest uncertainty is there. That is 90 percent uncertainty. That is what highest uncertainty. So, if probability is 0.1 then it is called as highest uncertainty. Means what? If we decrease probability of message then uncertainty increases. See here in our example if we are going from 0.5 to point 0.1 that is we are going to decrease probability then uncertainty will increase that is for point 0.1 highest uncertainty is there. 